Hmm. Am I alive? Cool. Hey, cool. Sweet. Oh, man. All right, we got some people joining. How's everybody doing? <laughs> what's up? What's up? This is my first live. We're gonna do some Oracle and Tarot. Thank you all for joining. Awesome. Just waiting to see what happens. This is my first live, so waiting for a few people getting settled in. How are we all doing? So, I guess I'll uh, just get started. So, I'm going to be doing a healing spread with my spirit song tarot in a minute. But, um, first I got a couple oracle cards from the Sacred Rebels. Oracle deck. And so the fun begins. This first card we got is Inspiration. Huh. Okay. There's definitely an option for the mirror thing. But I don't like. Do you like that? So you can read it. You can read it correctly. Yeah. Okay. What's up? What's up? This is my first live. Thank you for joining. We're going to do some tarot and oracle. So this first card from the sacred oracle is inspiration. Right now, really trying to a lot of us trying to come back into our strength, finding our inspiration once again. It's been a few crazy waves that we've gone through and it's inspiration coming back into full fruition here. Really following our light, following all the beautiful things that we want to do and see within our life and these there's lots of honeybees coming in here and the representation with the honeybees really shows that um, in connection with what we're trying to do, we, we see these huge things, these great things that we want to do with our life. And we're always putting ourselves down about how we can get there. And, and these representations with the honeybees coming in towards all these flowers is really representative of you know 
the honeybees, the, their bodies are really big, but their wings are really small. And it's like, how do they carry themselves? And it's just like our ideas. Our ideas are really big and grand and great, but how do we really get them to to come to fruition? And the the uh, the uh, wings on the 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 honeybees here really shows us that spirit is here to carry us. Once we start taking those steps and really doing doing the work and following our light and letting things grow and letting the d darkness letting that darkness you know not not seep into all the beauty that we have in our life we have so much beautiful things within our life that we need to protect and there there's this huge garden here within this woman on this card and there's so many things growing within your life and so many things that that need tending to there's always going to be that darkness there's always going to be some sort of invasive weed that is going to try to come into our beautiful gardens within our minds and we're trying to really follow our light and bring to fruition all the things that that we want to see in our life and as we take those steps we can really trust in spirit really bringing in nature nature is coming in to really help pollinate to bring to bring in the maintenance to bring in the other resources that are needed to maintain and to to bring those things to fruition and in combination hey Jess thank you yes 1k it's been like almost another few weeks since I got to 1k but I've been going through a heavy healing process since that have, has happened there's been a lot going on but I'm uh, re-emerging <laughs> so this other card that came out with the inspiration with all these honeybees helping us really bring to fruition what we're trying to come come into is bring into form card number 41 41 and card number three hey adam together you got 44 so bring into bring it into form so this is perfect with this card what we're trying to bring into our life, we're following our light and taking those steps and really trusting in spirit that just like the honeybee, you know, how do they fly? Their wings are flapping faster. Their little wings are flapping faster than their big bodies and really trusting that they have the strength to bring that in. And with this card coming in, bring it into form. It's the same thing. There, There is like little fireflies lighting up. And we're taking steps. We're taking baby steps. And every step that we take is creating this, this cosmic ripple into time and space. And these fireflies, again, with the bees, the bees and now the fireflies. So both of these are connected. The fireflies are lighting up. Every step that we take, what, whichever direction that we choose to take, the universe is lighting it up. There's these fireflies, there's this sacred geometry, this ripple being made in time and space, letting time and space, letting everything in existence know which direction you're t taking and which kind of steps that you're taking too, so that you are then attracting whatever it is, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever frequency you're on you're going to attract more of that and whichever type of intentional step you take next is where these fireflies is how these fireflies are going to light up are they going to light up and fly off and attract those same intentional things you took in that step yes they are you take an intentional step to make a 
bigger income, a bigger, you know, uh, anything, you know, healing your life, healing the next thing. And yeah, definitely baby steps. Everything is behind intention too. And, um, yeah, if you're looking for deeper healing work, I actually am a certified, a certified, uh, soul realignment practitioner. I work in the Akashic records as well, releasing karmic patterns that are made from this lifetime and past lifetimes, along with other negative attachments that we've created throughout our lifetimes and releasing those throughout the Akashic records and, you know, clearing our karmic record and being able to return to our true nature along with our properties too. That's kind of like my slogan, my slogan, returning souls and properties to true nature because we've been through much this world has been through so much and even our property our property could be a sacred site a burial site a battleground and wherever we are even if it's a brand new house it's built upon land that can be you know that could have been used for something else way back in the past so clearing all these energies that have built up within all time with and attached to either ourselves or properties within the Akashics, they can be released. And I've been getting these healings for seven years now, and now I'm being able to provide them to other people too, which I'm very excited about. Lots of great stories within the healings of the clients that I have had. One of my clients, unintentionally, I healed somebody's heart. They had two heart conditions. And I was just, you know, healing chakras and releasing attached energies. And then somebody else, they, uh, they had their daughter. Their daughter was born smelling like their grandma. And her grandma came to her when she was seven years old and and said that she'd be looking over her. But sometimes we we accept these attachments. We accept all these, these attachments because they're family. You know, we feel like we are obligated to accept these energies from family and friends and lovers and best friends. But, but sometimes they are a little too heavy like we we are meant to you know operate in a perfect circle and attachments will disrupt that flow of that perfect circle that we're meant to be in so i'm going to do um some healing tarot i usually do this every sunday but it's literally been like a month maybe two months since i've been able to have the energy to do it and I used to have a patreon I used to have a patreon which you could support all of my creation and content and have a zoom call with me once a week but I, I shut down my uh, I shut down my Patreon. It was a little too heavy of an attachment that was created within that and really set me back some. And I've got a lot of on my plate. I run my own. I run two of my own businesses. Soon to be three. And I got two daughters on my own. So, I don't have time. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, this... This healing spread has six cards. It's a pyramid spread. So, let's see where we're at. 
Card number one is going to be the issue. The, in the issue inside of ourselves. Cool. Thank you for joining. So let's see what the issue inside of ourselves. This spirit song tarot is really beautiful. I love it. It's got really short, beautiful messages. It's all animals, all the spirit of animals as well, which kind of follows suit with those other two cards with the, the honeybees and the fireflies. I'm gonna laugh if it's like another flying animal first. Get the moth or something. Let's see, the issue inside of ourselves. Oh, oh, okay, well that popped out. Okay, looks like there's two issues. This is gonna be fun. Okay, wow. Two major arcanas too. What? Wow. So, okay. We got the sun. Wow. All right, we got the sun. The vitality and joy. The hummingbird. Like I just said, the freaking, the hummingbird. First card. Something that flies. <laughs> um, so we got the sun here and the moon. The sun and the moon. But the moon is reversed. The moon is the owl with imagination and perception. So this is the issue, the issue inside of yourself. So there's a very divine... I did a TikTok on this too when I hiked down to an old waterfall that I went to as a kid and the sun and the moon came out. This is really beautiful. Somehow they stuck together. So the sun with the hummingbird. Well, before I go to the book, it's like, wow. Like there's a, a very divine connection with the sun and the moon coming out together. So that definitely shows that there has been an issue within ourselves that we have been trying to balance some sort of divine connection within ourselves. So the sun and the moon coming out, we are really, really in balance with the sunny side of ourselves. We really, really want to be sunny and joyful and keep that, that joy shining on the world and helping things grow. But when it comes to the moon, when it comes to nighttime and all the darker parts of our lives and the shadows, sometimes it's it's not as easy. It's always easy when things are happy and joyful, and but it is not easy with the moon integrating our imagination and perception. The sun here, the hummingbird. Number 19. Hummingbird rays. Hummingbird's rays reach out, warming everything in his path. In his path. He is your playful messenger of light and joy, and he thrives in an environment of beauty. As a healer, he draws energy from the nectars of life to create his own healing elixirs. With his ability to fly backwards, he taps into happy memories from the past which gives him renewed energy. As with the sun itself, hummingbird brings enlightenment to all in his presence. Enjoy and celebrate the fruits of your labor. Your future is bright and filled with beautiful possibilities. So yeah, definitely trying to find all the gratitude. Each one of these animals in this deck are described with their one ability. Every animal in the kingdom has their one special ability that makes them unique, that gives them 
their ability to be that one type of species. The hummingbird is able to fly backwards, looking back in the past and really giving gratitude to how far we've come. We're exactly where we need to be. We're exactly where we, we hear it all the time. We're exactly where we need to be. But seriously, we're exactly where we have been striving to be. If you look back one year, two years, three years, we are nowhere near where we used to be. So finding gratitude for that and letting our joy shine and multiplying that gratitude and using all that has been and all that will be to create our own elixirs, as it says, to be able to transmute, to be able to create and transmute everything. And really um, with the moon coming in too, we've been having problems being able to transmute and to create and keep that imagination and that perception. Sometimes things come into our life where they just break us to the center of our core and the darkness just we allow it to envelop us. And that's part of the process too, because in order to fully understand it, we can't fully understand it unless it fully gets into our center and we can fully feel it and you know, allow ourselves to cry or to vocalize and communicate and justify it in the way that we feel that is necessary for us to move forward. And the moon here with the owl, owl's time is the night when the subconscious powers are at their peak. By the light of owl and her mysterious moon comes a flood of insight. A silent observer of intuitive knowledge, owl pierces through illusions, breaking the hidden to light. The imagination is a powerful tool. It can be used creatively or it can be used to strike terror within emotions will also shape the perception of any situation owl is here to assist you in seeing your way clearly through fear and into the light of truth even in the cloak of darkness your path will be illuminated trust in your instincts pay attention to your dreams and watch for signs that will guide you So the darkness, that's a reversed message though. The reverse message is fluctuating emotions are blocking your vision. This is not a time to take risks. With patience, your pathway will clear. So yeah, with fluctuating emotions, without that balance, without that divine balance between the dark and the light, there's it's really hard to move forward without that deep connection within ourselves because we feel very lost and we feel like there's something that we need to figure out in order to go back into the world and feel confident and feel like we can do all the things and do all the stuff that we feel called to do so moving forward with this reading also, card number two is the past. The effect this issue has had on the past, on others and yourself. Let's see. All right. Who? Oh, wow. Okay. The effect this issue has had on the past. As I was just saying, too, this is the peacock, but it was reversed. Number 20, renewal and enlightenment. Renewal and enlightenment. This issue has been affecting our renewal and enlightenment this is a big part of 
the path we've been on. Hmm. So with the reverse message on this, huh. do not act in haste without consideration of consequence. Let go of ill feelings associated with the past and be open to new ideas and experiences. So, yeah. So within our most recent pasts, when this is totally affecting ourselves and affecting others, the issue inside of ourselves, the imbalance between the dark and the light, and not fully being at the point where we know exactly where we are. We always know we always need, we are always where we need to be, but there comes a point where we will know exactly where we are. And we go through these phases where there's ego deaths and all these phases of the moon and all the phases of our own selves. And we go into situations. We go into situations we may, we, we do know that may not be very comfortable, but we know that there's something in there that we feel called to stay and we feel called to figure out. And within our most recent past, the renewal and enlightenment has been the goal. And yes, we, we do know, we know that. Do not act in haste without consideration of the consequence. And there may have been energies in our life that have been doing that against us, that have been acting in haste against us because those energies want what they want and they, they're they at a point in their journey where they have no patience and have no consideration of what the actual reality is in our life. And they don't consider the consequences and it will affect their journey ultimately. And it's all meant to happen. So being able to let go of these ill feelings associated with the past and being open to new ideas and experiences and people, experiences, ideas, people, that has been our most recent past. It's been very hard to let go of these, these weird feelings, you know, that have built up against us. And that's, that's a really hard part too, of letting go of letting go of whatever it is that has seeped into our life. You know, it's like a weed too, like a weed might not look like a weed at first it could be some sort of beautiful flower that has come up into our life like say a morning glory flower that is a vine you know but that has weaved its way up into our garden and helped support some of the stalks of our other flowers grow and eventually it's it could you know just be a dead a dead plant where it's it seems like it's no more help to your garden and it's just sitting there without flowers and we think that we need to put all our extra effort into watering that flower and that is not the answer you know because that which deserves to be in our life will be able to thrive and be able to connect with everything that we're doing and see the reality of where they are planting their roots. If their roots are planted within the reality that we know and that we understand, then yes, they will become a match within our life. 
And if they are not in that same frequency of patience and understanding of our situation and our our reality, then those roots will become a part of our own, you know, and each individual plant should be able to reach further down into the core of the earth in their own direction instead of entwining and choking out our own roots and our own branches and creating some sort of unhealthy attachment that which we lean on and expect that we will get help and it takes away from our own originality and our own power we relinquish our own power to others so easily and not to say that we are here to we are here to help each other grow and to help each other get through whatever we need to get through but ultimately we need to protect our own power and respect other people's power and um man i'm getting pretty deep into that um so yeah the awakening this has been affecting our awakening this balance between the dark and the light and we've gone through so much light and we've gone through so much dark and now now this part of the awakening has been has been conquered and it is in our past and now we're moving into this beautiful part of our awakening and this next card will be card number three the present the the effects this issue is having on yourself and others in the present <clears throat> Let's see. The effect this issue is affecting ourselves in the present. again the effect this issue has had in the present is the king of acorns which is the king of wands really being able to innovate and be a master of our ideas which is the horse we have the horse here with optimism and innovation, but it is reversed. The reverse message says, if you feel like you're wasting time, focus your energy on something that is more meaningful to you. It's okay to change your mind if a situation is influencing you negatively. So definitely in the present moment, this, this issue of the imbalance of the dark and the light is really understanding that we can say no we can release and let go of anything that is that is affecting us negatively and and that's okay and as i've been saying like sometimes things will grow into our lives so intricately that we feel like we can't let them go we feel like and like we feel like they've brought us so far and they may even say oh we've helped you build this and do that and do this but it comes to a point where like yes that is true but is that energy necessary for the flourishing next phase of of what's being built of how you can remain happy 
and it's not to be selfish it's not to be anything it's it's about to be yourself and respect res being respective of your own energy and it, if it does feel like a waste of your time then it is your heart is saying something your heart is way more accurate than your brain your heart is giving out 60 times more energy than what your mind puts out scientifically put it's true our heart is more connected to how we feel is how we feel what our mind is our mind is creating our ego is creating all the attachments is creating everything that can ultimately pull us back into those justifications where where we can remain in that energy and try to justify how we can make it work how we can force it to work and be happy but no right now in this moment we're being told to, that it is okay it is okay to say no it is okay to respect your own energy and on the horse also the message of the horse is energetic and charismatic horse is a visionary with a dynamic demeanor this fireball of a spirit will demonstrate how to discover your own freedom and embrace your greatest potential don't hold back pursue the path of the horse by fashioning your natural leadership qualities and celebrate your ever-shifting awareness of your spiritual expansion like horse you encompass a strongly burning fire within and you have a greater ability to adapt than you may realize behold your unique voice and let your wild let loose your wild spirit so definitely being able to freely roam the earth and you know visit one side of the earth or in the technological world of the internet being able to visit one corner of the internet and freely experience what you need to experience and go to the next corner of wherever you feel called to go and feel comfortable and keeping that optimism open and being able to innovate with with that confidence and with that leadership of yourself ultimately ultimately we're, we need to lead ourselves in the right direction ultimately i'm leading myself right here to this moment because i want to figure out things within my life and if that helps others then that's even more beautiful i'm sharing my own leadership with myself with others so that i can help strive and help the world thrive so within the next card which is the the source ooh the source of the issue and factors contributing to the situation the source of this issue with the issue being this imbalance of the divine connection within ourselves of the dark and the light the sun and the moon it's so easy so easy to be in that good vibe but when those when those darker vibes come in it takes us away you know really takes us away from our light and all the community and all the loving relationships that we've built and it causes us to withdraw and curl up into a ball until we figure out how to escape and become and to escape that cocoon and become the next butterfly within our lives hey Pinocchio, what's up so we're doing the healing spread 
the issue within ourselves is the sun and the moon put together the sun and the moon this the moon being reversed this divine connection within ourselves oh i looked at it okay there it is Card number four, the source of the issue. The source of the issue being being, okay, before I move forward, I'll get you caught up with the source being the sun and the moon, the, and anybody else that needs to be caught up, the sun and the moon with this divine connection within ourselves and being able to shine and being able to experience the darkness in a balanced way. And that has affected us in our past. This has affected our awakening and it has brought a lot of challenges to our renewal and to our enlightenment moving forward. And the King of Acorns in reverse as well definitely coming into the that optimism where we can let go of the things that have come into our life and may have helped our gardens grow but ultimately those roots when those roots are pure they they understand our reality and they understand how to grow on their own and reach for the center of the earth, you know, instead of intertwining with our own. And choking out like all that which we are planting and reaching deeper into our souls and into the earth to be able to heal. And be, having that optimism to be able to cut those free from our garden. And so the source of this issue, the source being the issue and the factors contributing to the situation, the source of this issue is <laughs> justice. Is justice and looks like the raven right there. The source of the issue is is definitely number 11 justice the source of this issue is definitely justice because we know our subconsciouses know what kind of justice our lives need our subconsciouses know when we're experiencing something dark and we're caught up in that light side. We, we want to feel happy and joyful and we don't want to cause any chaos and we don't want to like bring any darkness into other people's worlds and bring that justice in. And this is the exact source of the source of the problem that has created that imbalance within our lives without being able to conquer and being able to face our shadows with that justice and saying, no, that's not right, that's not realistic, and bringing truth and clarity to every situation that has come forth and affected our awaken, that it has affected our awakening. And, and presently, we are coming into that realization where we can say no, we can let that go, and we must bring this justice to every situation moving forward. And in order to flip that moon over and be able to see that wisdom and bring that imagination back and that perception of the exception that we can go through these experiences more clearly and avoid avoid something that could be beautiful as i was saying before like a morning glory or a moon flower which is a vine that is beautiful and has flowers but if we don't keep that justice 
going from the beginning and we allow that vine to go up into one of our most favorite flowers or into the most precious part of our being and like let's let's gets into us and just breaks us to the core because we're being too nice and joyful and not respecting our shadow side and bring justice to that truth and clarity and and definitely you know re rerouting that that flower that vine into the direction into their own direction rather than being nice and saying okay you can you can grow up up into my garden and up into the most pr precious flowers in my garden no no and you might have missed the first two cards too with the the inspiration and the steps moving forward we have this huge garden in our head and we are trying to protect it and we're calling in spirit to ultimately help us achieve these giant things and we're taking the steps every step that we take we are letting the universe know and these these fireflies are lighting up and every step that we take we create even more sacred geometry to let the universe know which direction we're going in and what we're calling in what type of intention was put into that step that exact energy is going to be reflected into the universe and attract what is attracted into our lives so the source of the problem bring that justice and having that balance between the masculine and the feminine yes we need to be emotional and understanding and all that jazz but there needs to be that truth and that clarity and that that definite you know sternness of what we need to see if we have a bad feeling and think something may happen and think somebody may be thinking the wrong way something needs to be said something needs to be straightened out so that each energy can be can continue to grow in their own way that is aligned and aligned with everything else in the situation and okay it's the crow with truth and clarity at the portal of shadow and light <laughs> at the portal of shadow and light which is the source of the problem <laughs> the seen and the unseen crow holds the gifts of ancient wisdom and sacred law her sharp perception illuminates the core of truth she is able to discern what is fair and she stands on guard to ensure that such fairness is fulfilled as a bringer of clarity crow will assist you toward spiritual self-awareness in standing by your personal integrity you will awaken your authentic self balance is a continuous process on the road of adjustment weigh your decisions carefully so as to bring everything back into balance you are the orchestrator of your life Consider the results of all actions taken as your actions and thoughts shape your future. Definitely. Definitely. Even going back to this card, every intentional step we take is reflected out into the universe. And those little fireflies will collect each energy of your intention and bring those, those back into your life. And there's a footprint back there where where we do we leave our footprints in reality no matter what we do there will be a footprint of every single thing we do and say that's at the le at the level of action where we we take action or say something we speak or act that is at the level of creation and that's what creates footprints within reality within our reality and with other people's realities and and if there's too many footprints like stomping down into one spot and not moving forward into their own directions, there's just too much chaos and too much interweave, too much 
interconnectedness and there's no room to breathe and there's no room to grow and understand all those intricacies get smaller and smaller and so wow <laughs> um the next card with remediation the steps that must be taken to reduce and resolve this issue wow all right the steps that need to be taken to reduce and resolve this issue this imbalance of the dark and light within ourselves whoa whoa okay whoa we got two okay all right okay So the first to reduce and resolve this issue is uh, obviously the source, knowing that the source of the issue is keeping that justice, that truth, that clarity, and the remediation to move forward is the buffalo, the eight of crystals, which is the eight of coins, the eight of pentacles dedication and progress so definitely seeing <laughs> all these crystals there's eight crystals growing under the land which this buffalo is roaming <laughs> oh where the buffalo roam derp, 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 derp. so yes the longer we the longer we roam the same the same lands and we know those lands like the back of our hands and we claim those lands we plant our roots and those lands are growing older and older stronger and stronger strong enough to be able to grow crystals and grow these beautiful minerals underground and being able to make that dedication dedicate ourselves to that justice because we've learned our lessons through these these trying times and that's that's the way that we can progress moving forward you know dedicate ourselves to the knowledge that we have the knowledge that we're given you know with this imbalance within the light and the dark you know we can't always be nice we can't always say okay that's okay they'll figure it out blah 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 no no some people won't figure it out for a while and you need to speak up or else you know things will happen that aren't too great at all you know and definitely yeah, keeping that dedication. Let's see, the Buffalo, Eight of Crystals. Eight of Crystals. The buffalo, strong and stable, Buffalo walks his sacred path, embarking upon his journey with dedication. He's devoted to putting all his effort into reaching his destination. Buffalo is a steam ahead, full steam ahead on his road to glory, and his commitment is proving to be worthwhile. He's here to remind you that even if your work seems tedious, just keep going. Be adaptable, develop your craft, and plan your moves. With vigilance and care, know that you will be met with success. definitely and in combination with that dedication and progress as long as we're making progress and keeping what we learn intact and in practice in our everyday lives then our lives will become more beautiful and in combination with that dedication there is But you know what? That card did fall and I first saw it reversed. So the reversed message 
is oh hey hey Yuri so the reverse message is be patient with your work as shortcuts to success will result in error so that message also is coming through as well being patient with your work you know because when these imbalances do come into our lives they drive us down a very dark road where it takes us a while to get out of so being patient with the work that you're doing to get back out of where you drove so deeply in to figure out what needed to be figured out figured out be patient because taking those shortcuts and saying oh that's okay that happened like that's okay I'll just keep moving forward and keep allowing this energy to be in my life and saying okay but no that's not keeping justice and that's not respecting how you feel and so with that energy keeping that patience do not take shortcuts because there will be something that will be missed. We take our time, we see every little detail and every little energy within each situation that we can analyze and be able to understand fully if it's welcome or not that will be best for our existence moving forward. And in combination with that dedication to that justice and clarity, to prevent that imbalance is <laughs> seven of feathers that cheetah with preparation which is the seven of wands the seven of swords seven of swords seven of feathers preparation and resourcefulness so yeah being patient and preparing for what's to come getting your resources stockpiled and moving forward stronger than you ever have before knowing these lessons that we've learned and the power in the justice that needs to be taken moving for moving forward and being able to direct whichever energies in our lives that may be out of alignment to keep those in alignment because we're here we are here to help each other sometimes some energies break each other and obviously they need to they're broke they're broke things can't be fixed and you know it's like a plant a plant a dead plant cannot be brought back to life and we need to accept it So the seven of feathers, the cheetah, moving on up faster and faster with the cheetah coming in, preparation and resourcefulness. Wow. And the, the cheetah, I never really looked at this before. There's like, um, it's like an egg shape over top of the cheetah here and there's feathers here so there is a this kind of egg shape around the cheetah which kind of represents protecting protection definitely some divine protection around yourself with this knowledge and definitely yeah with the suit of being swords and the feathers also representing protection as well we we understand that we are divinely protected and divinely understood in all aspects and being able to prepare ourselves with that dedication and the seven of feathers oh wow how did i even get to the page okay a warrior cheetah knows her strength and masters her natural abilities 
Armed with foresight, she responds swiftly with new approaches to any problems. Cheetah guides you in focusing on your goal, helping you reach it with ease and grace. Use your initiative and be prepared to make your move. Keep yourself ahead of the game by closely observing what is going on. With eyes and, and mind open, dishonest behavior will be revealed. Look within and study all angles. You instinctively know what steps you need to take to bring forth the best results. So yes, as I've been saying, you know, we know what's good and we know what's bad. And sometimes we get caught up in the good and we don't want to create drama. We don't want to create any kind of darkness or conflict in people's lives. But sometimes that is what is needed. That is the help that is needed. And being able to foresee that and not taking action on that, that's what creates a real that real imbalance so moving forward the maintenance and remediation that needs to happen we need to stay dedicated to the justice and be able to respect that ability that we do have that we we know what is happening and we see it happening and we we step towards that storm we step towards that chaos and that conflict ever so closer knowing that it's coming and it's like part of us wants that conflict but part of us doesn't and it's all about picking your perspective and you know acting out of love and for the greater good of of being able to stay connected with everybody and everything before any more chaos that that can arise from these imbalances of dark and light. We see something that may not be realistic and may not be... <laughs> it was like one of the first missions I just started playing Skyrim and this guy was like hounding this shopkeeper girl and she was like hey can you go talk to this guy he will not leave me alone <laughs> and then i had to go fight the dude because he was so focused on nope she's mine she just doesn't know it yet blah 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 and i'm like nope punch 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 you need to get your freaking shit right dude and you know somebody tells you no that means no that is it end of game move on <laughs> so having that foresight and definitely you know setting things straight with that justice and keeping that dedication so i think moving into the last card with the maintenance the steps that should be taken to help prevent the reoccurrence of this issue in the future let's see the maintenance which seems pretty similar to remediation remediation is to reduce and resolve but the maintenance the steps that should be taken to help prevent the reoccurrence of this imbalance within our life. Let's see. It's two again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So, the maintenance moving forward is... Wow! Wow. This is... Wow. The maintenance moving forward is... The first one is the High Priestess, which is, looks like the Bobcat here, with intuition and sacred knowledge definitely as i was saying too before 
trusting our intuition, that foresight, having that foresight, having that intuition, being intuitive and knowing, seeing it all and being able to act on it and having that sacred knowledge of what is good and what is justice and what is good and bad. And the high priestess coming in here, number two, the bobcat, the keeper of sacred knowledge. Oh, it's the lynx. Lynx balances invisibly between the conscious and the unconscious worlds. She knows that all that is hidden will one day be revealed and that truth will eventually surface into consciousness. Her clairvoyance and divine wisdom encourage you to embark on your sacred inner journey. Look within and trust the calming rhythm of your intuition, for it will eventually open the doorway to knowledge that will help you recognize your spiritual power. So the Lynx, she's just sitting here, sitting here patiently, you know, and that you know, also kind of contradicts some of the things that I may have said, ultimately coming into this energy of the, the maintenance moving forward. So yes, being able to have that intuition and that sacred knowledge and that respect as well, and knowing that the truth will eventually surface into consciousness and everything is happening as it is supposed to, in each and every moment within our past and we can move forward with the knowledge that we have learned from these most recent times and now moving forward to prevent that from happening again it is it is being able to sit back and let things happen but it is also with that knowledge of keeping that justice and clarity within those imbalances and you know to get up get up out of your seat and definitely definitely bring that sacred knowledge into into the situation and with all the understanding and all the intuition that you can in being able to handle the next situation because we can't always just sit and watch and wait for things to happen and wait for them to work themselves out. No, we need to take action. And the people who know how to take action need to take action because they have learned their lessons. Otherwise, it is just an injustice to the world. And with, <laughs> with the high priestess comes... Number two, the High Priestess, also comes the Empress. Number three, <laughs> with the maintenance moving forward, the High Priestess along with the Empress. Somewhat of another divine connection because the, the problem being number 18 and 19 now the maintenance is number two and number three <laughs> with the empress, the bunny, the rabbit with beauty and abundance, knowing that you can really have that sacred knowledge and intuition to be able to intuitively respect and handle each and every situation with that knowledge from everything that you've learned and moving forward and you know, creating that beauty and creating that abundance with that ability to redirect energies that may not, that should not, you know, intertwine. That the dark and the light are not in balance and there's no justice being made to distinguish the two from each other and set things right. Because ultimately it will affect our awakenings that we are going through and suppress that beauty and abundance that can really help us move forward more abundantly and collectively 
So, yeah. Presently, with that King of Acorns, keeping that optimism, though, and accepting the fact that we can move forward into new lands and keep that justice and that dedication and prepare for the next situation with that sacred knowledge and intuition and keeping that beauty. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Oh my God. I hope I have a, wow. That was very grounding. Wow. I feel like, hmm. That's probably about it. Um, I feel like I wanna pull maybe one more from the Sacred Rebel. One more from the Sacred Rebel. So, inspiration and bringing into form with all those energies, bringing it into form. We're finally, so the first card was inspiration. In the past, our inspiration has been affected. Right now, we're bringing it back into form. And what can we do through the sacred rebel? knowledge to bring that all into fruition yes collaborative dreaming collaborative dreaming with all this knowledge that we have just gained we can move forward into a much more collaborative dream together with each other. We may all be different colors and different reflections of each other, but with this knowledge moving forward, we can definitely, definitely be more collaborative and more distinct with the directions that we are going with all that clarity and helping others go through their awakenings and keeping that light in the dark in balance and having the knowledge of definitely both of them having equal importance along with the equal importance of what has not, what has broken us, what has created those imbalances, which become a weed that must be plucked from our gardens and being able to say, that's okay. That's okay. And we are able to roam free and be nomadic within our lives and go wherever we feel called and most comfortable and into those more collaborative spaces. Cool, thank you for joining Ireland. Thank you. I think it's about dinner time for my kiddos. So that's the first one. I should have maybe done this later at night when more people are online, but I'm just breaking my own comfortability being my first TikTok. I didn't want to be too overwhelmed. Maybe I might come back on later, but I will be on next week, definitely. I'll be traveling all the way across country to Sedona to the Ascended, Ascended Sedona event. There's links in my profile link to tickets to that where all the greatest conscious creators of TikTok are coming together to expand consciousness and take those steps to expand all this knowledge and understanding to the world and bring that content and that collaboration, <laughs> that collaborative dream to stronger into reality, bring it into form with that inspiration. Alrighty, I got to go. Love you.
Bye bye. If I can figure out how to, you know, do this.